Hello, so this is my nature hike down sleeping bag after about three years of use, as you can tell. It's uh, fairly worn out. And I'm just gonna cover all those important things like, you know, price, $110, weight, durability. Is it worth it? Is it a good down budget sleeping bag? Of course, we're gonna cover that right now. So to get started, um, it packs down pretty dang small here. I have my water bottle for scale, you can see there there this is fairly small this uh, it's a good compact size you know I have no complaints yeah you could get smaller but most most down bags are going to compress to about this small it has these compression straps which help make that size smaller at the consequence of compressing your down more and possibly damaging it you get a nice small and carry size as you can see with these straps fully extended it grows to a bit bigger the bag itself weighs uh, a little bit over 800 grams, which is actually more heavy than my uh, 707 gram minus 15 Celsius down quilt. And this is just because of the materials used, the feathers, etc., just aren't as high quality. But this also costs like a good $500 less, so what do you expect? Anyways, let's just pop this out of the bag and I'll discuss some of the important things here. I gotta say, I like the pouch. I like the stuff sack here. It's pretty good. Uh, it's been durable, as you can see. I have really used and worn it, and I've seen people have problems with it, but I've had zero issue at all with it. In fact, it has, yep, very good. Now we can get into the construction. So it uses this sort of ripstop nylon, which works really great. I have had zero rips, and if the rips did make, I'm sure they would stop. What is more important than ripstop is baffling. And this is where this sleeping bag kind of falls a little bit short, as I'll demonstrate. Since it's a cheaper bag, they gotta save costs on manufacturing. And so the way they stitch and baffle this bag is significantly different or cheaper than other sleeping bags. And let me show you. So this is especially noticeable if we just hold it up to the light, you can see all these lines running down the quilt here um, and this is where your heat is going to escape from you know if you're covering up you don't want your heat to escape through any of these channels or these pathways um, but it does and this is where you lose a lot of your thermal efficacy you can kind of clearly see these lines made in the material with a real made quilt you're not going to have nearly the same effect as evidenced by my comparison video of a cheap versus expensive down sleeping bag, you can see, well, it's just not as good. You're going to get a lot more air leakage. You're not going to get as much thermal efficiency for the same weight. You know, but this is fairly standard for a lot of cheap bags, like the Nature Hike bags and whatnot. Um, it has this collar here, which does adjust, cinches right down, so that when you're sleeping, it'll like, you know, cinch down around your neck and be all comfortable. You see, it's a hybrid between a sleeping bag and a uh, quilt, which I love. It's what I was looking for. Because the zipper runs all the way down, so you can kind of turn it into a mummy bag. Your traditional sleeping bag where you hop in through here and whatnot. Close up this baffle. Keep your neck all cozy and warm. Heck, why don't I just go all the way in? So now I'm inside here. All you gotta do pinch it up and it is pretty warm i mean it's like yeah like this i have become a little bit of a burrito burrito mode activate so yeah the burrito mode could be useful if you have a use for it but i don't think i've ever actually used it like this i've used it pretty much all the time entirely as a quilt just with the footbed kind of closed up to keep my feet extra toasty talking a little bit more about the build the loft is pretty decent not Terrific. They advertise 800 fill power and I'm inclined to kind of believe it. Maybe 700, maybe 800. It's not like the 900 from my super fancy bag. I gotta say their temperature rating is actually fairly accurate. 11 degrees Celsius is the comfort. So like evening here in Portugal in April. Limit six Celsius and I would agree. At six Celsius, I'm putting on a few layers and I'm getting a little bit warmer. And the extreme, it says minus eight Celsius, but there's <laughs> No way on earth I'd run this quilt under zero Celsius. You would freeze, you'd need a second black bag, a second quilt, etc. So 
So yeah, if you think you're camping about 10 degrees Celsius all the time, I'd say it's a fine bag, but as soon as you're gonna get into that colder climate, you're gonna be, you know, wishing that you went for something else. And this is where I go. I would recommend getting a bag that at least goes down to zero degrees Celsius. That way you have a bag that can go all year, those three seasons, spring, summer, fall, without a problem. Winter, yeah, you might have to bag up. But with something like this, you're kind of restricted to almost like summer and the shoulder seasons because in most places, the climate is not warm enough just to have this as your only bag. I use a hammock, so I do hammock camping and it's been great, but it's definitely being replaced soon by a better sleeping bag for me. So, so yeah, that's the Nature Hike CW290 or CW280 pretty much the same models. I would definitely recommend either higher fill power or just something a little better built without this stitched through baffle. Also a quick note about ethics. Nature Hike is based in China and we all know that uh, the manufacturing and production of down in China is not quite what you would say ethical. You know, those poor geese go through some shit. So that's why it's also good to support local or ethically harvested down producers or, you know, quilt producers that you could be sure of. Like Little Shop of Hammocks, I love their stuff. Anyways, that's it. Please, um, please support the channel. I'm trying to keep it no nonsense. I'm trying to make this good, so please help with the algorithm stuff, the whole like, comment, sub stuff, you know, it just helps out. Anyways, keep subscribed, watch some of my adventure videos, and have a good one. Peace.